Sometime around 1985, Inverter manufacturers realized that inverters could be used to charge batteries as well by, well, and this isn't very scientific, running them backwards. Many of the components that are used to turn DC into AC work perfectly well to turn AC into DC. Thus, we have the inverter-charger combination. Kevin, in practice, how does this work on boats? The short answer is, it works great, Chuck. Let's start by assuming you're connected to shore power and your inverter charger like this model MMS from Magnum is charging your batteries. In this particular case, the MMS 1012 can put out 50 amps DC, so it's a pretty capable charger. And it's a smart charger too, so it can be adjusted to charge gel, AGM, or flooded batteries precisely so that you get maximum life and maximum capacity out of your batteries. So what happens when you cast off your dock lines and disconnect the shore power connection for a weekend on the water? As soon as you disconnect the shore power cable, an inverter charger switches over to inverter mode. There's virtually no interruption of service, so that appliances that operate on AC power may not even notice the change. As long as you're disconnected from shore power, the inverter will produce up to 1,000 watts of pure sine wave AC power, assuming, of course, that you periodically charge your batteries using the engine's alternator or by running your generator. And what happens when you return to the dock? As you might guess, the shore power cord is reconnected and the charger starts up again. Your batteries get completely charged so that you're ready for the next weekend. And this is completely automatic? Absolutely. The transfer switch inside the inverter charger can sense when shore power is available. There is no operator intervention required. That's what's so nice about these products. They do the right thing automatically and combine two really useful products into a single case. So the MMS model and its modified sine wave companion, the MM, are rated at 1,000 watts output and 50 amps charging. That might be enough for a 30 to 35 foot boat, depending on the need for AC power. What if the boat is larger or if the owner wants to run an electric galley? Would you buy two smaller units? Most inverter manufacturers offer similar inverter chargers that range from 1,000 watts to about 3,000 watts. Remember, you size the inverter based on the loads that you'll be running simultaneously. Over 3,000 watts is possible, but a generator becomes more and more likely at that point. That's right. Two important facts to remember. The first is that any inverter has to be supplied by a battery bank that is large enough or you'll inevitably be disappointed in how long you run the loads. Our design rule is to have at least 20% as many amp hours in your house bank as the inverter has watts. That's a 600 amp hour bank for a Magnum 3000 watt inverter. Second, there are some loads that aren't appropriate for inverters. These include water heaters, electric ranges and ovens, air conditioners, or space heaters. These items draw so much power and operate for long periods of time. They're strong indicators that you need to consider a generator or possibly move to a more comfortable climate. You're dealing with high voltage and boats that are a very different environment than a house. But the instructions that are provided with these products are excellent, and you can always call in professional help if you think you're over your head. Remember that electrical accessories like inverters will have a corresponding standard in the ABYC Recommended Practices and Standards book, which will guide you in making a safe and effective installation. ABYC, the American Boat and Yacht Council, is a nonprofit standard organization that provides over 40 standards and technical articles on boating products and best practices. Thanks, Kevin, and thank you for watching. We hope that we've given you some ideas on what inverter or inverter charger might be best for you and what's involved in installing it. Please refer to the West Marine website, www.westmarine.com, as we continue to add West Advisors do it yourself projects to our library. You can also find valuable product information and West Advisors in our annual catalog. Have fun, be safe, and see you on the water.